All right, y'all. You guys love some drama. You love to hear what's going on around the shop, and I'm here to tell you what we got going on. I am officially throwing in the towel. I'm giving up. I got too much stuff going on. I got too many projects spread too thin. I think we're all spread too thin here. We just got so much stuff going on, and <clears throat> I am throwing in the towel. I just can't do it no more. We got too much stuff. We got like 90 different projects, like at all different stages and, and parts, and I think it's time to reel it in. So I got a game plan. I'm going to go over it with y'all, and some of you guys might really like it. Some of you guys might hate it, but I think the end result will be something that you guys like, which is more cars complete, more racing action, different variety of racing action, and hopefully more competitive cars. That's that's just what we're going for. We're trying to be more competitive. I want to be racing more. I don't want to be in the shop. <clears throat> I know a lot of my videos are in the shop building stuff, but I don't want to be in the shop building stuff every day. I'd rather be going to the track like two or three days a week. I know right now it's like 10 degrees outside, so I can't do that. But in the summer, I want to have options. I want to be able to run some small tire shootouts, like some 28 inch tire shootouts. I want to be able to run the no prep stuff. If they got no prep shootout, I want to do that. If they got Caroline no time or any like badass, like big 28 tire shootouts, I want to be able to take the black sheep, be able to take Colorado. We got Eddie Murphy. We got the cow for some street car shootouts. We got the vet for some street car shootouts. Like we got a great variety of cars. We need to get them all up and running. So uh, we recently just entered Squid Billy in a no prep going up, coming up on the 27th. Uh, they got the dig or die in the 27th of march which we are entered in but i just got two spots so like i haven't selected what car specifically and they got this uh the thaw out at darlington which i think is in february like 20 something i don't know the exact date but we put um boomhauer the silver multicolored silver mustang nitrous mustang i got in there we put we entered that in the race and then we're gonna put squid billy in the race and the plan with squid billy was it had like an a-arm front with a strut on it we were going to convert it to like a, a literally take a fox body strut and spindle and lower control arm right off the fox body and stick it on there but it just won't fit it won't fit under the body so we're like well that sucks we can't do that immediately can't run that car in the race doesn't fit the class people were, were calling saying it didn't work so we're like all right whatever we won't run it they released the rules for digger die and now the rules for digger die changed where before it was just kind of like small tire 2810 5 we were putting factory firewall and factory floors back in the car, so we'd have been fine. Now they're like, you have to have a 100% factory strut tower that is untampered. You can't like have it cut out in any way. You have to have frame rail all the way back to the four link, which can't be tampered with any way. Like you can't cut out a piece and then just put it back there. So it's like right then and there, <clears throat> the rules are really skewed, especially when you're trying to run like the same style class, like the no prep small tire, and they all got different rules. It's definitely tough to fit into every class. Really, what you have to do is you have to have a car that's got factory front strut towers on it and a lot of frame rail. The black sheep would be perfect for it, but I don't feel like taking the black sheep out of radial trim. The black sheep's one of the few cars that legit has real deal frame rail from the strut tower all the way back to the four link, and that's just how that car was made. I don't know, like, Salty Chicken will not be like that. The Salty Chicken will have frame rails from the strut tower to the firewall about 18 to 21 inches. So, with that being said, kind of step back and look at some stuff and say like, well, what could we do? So one thing that we are gonna do is we are going to back half the Colorado. I want the Colorado to be a solid truck, uh, good TKM power plant in there. We know the turbo kit's gonna be good if we ever decide to go back blower, we can bolt that right back on because the headers and everything are already made. It's gonna stay stock front suspension. It's gonna have a uh, shit ton of frame rail on it. And that's just how this truck's gonna be. We're going to uh, beef up the fuel lines, going to go bigger fuel lines, we're probably run a set of build atomizers if we put a real motor in there so we can make some power. I recently picked up a new badass 106 millimeter turbo, and that's what I'm here to talk to you guys today about. So after everything, all said and done, we're all spread out. We got all these projects. They start getting clipped by the rules, say you can't run this, can't run that. I'm like, all right, well, why don't we just build something specifically for it? So I'm already going to take this truck to, to Coker Chassis. Uh, my boy Bob up there is going to make this thing absolutely sick. We're going to do uh, a cage in it with a funny car hoop, and then we're going to four-link it. So we have the opportunity to build this truck to meet the rules. It's already got front, stock front suspension on it. The strut towers, you can't mess with. There's nothing to mess with on these. Like, they're just, they're there. They sell, like, an adapter to turn it from, like, a three-bolt um, three to eyelet shock to eyelet to eyelet, so then I can run, like, a Mensur strut up there, or a QA1 strut, or, or an AFCO strut, whatever I want to run up front. You can put a good shock on it. It's already got the five lug conversion. It's got decent brakes on it. 
Uh, there's no need to put like a bunch of race brakes on there. Um, and that's where I decided, well, why don't we just build the Colorado into a, a good small tire truck, a good no prep truck, something that I can go out there and, you know, have the power to go a 450 if you need it, be able to t tone it back and run, you know, a 650 if you need to on a no prep. It'll have good suspension. Uh, Bob's going to set up the four link so we have that adjustability. That's the, the benefit of a four link is you can go from having a bunch of anti-squat to get to separate uh, and change your instant center around to have it where it's got like none and you can actually let the truck squat a little bit. So I think that's what the game plan is. That's what I've been talking with all the guys around here. And it's a lot of shuffling around, you know, and I think that a lot of shuffling around is a little bit easier than building a whole nother car, get it done. You go to the track and they're like, I don't fit the rules, man. And then you're just like, well, I spent all this time. So now we can make this, you know, as competitive as we can. And it's going to be an ugly truck. And I kind of like that. I vibe with this truck. You know, I spent a lot of time on this truck, actually like messing with it myself. And, and I've had fun with it. I built the zoomies for it. I went down to the burnout contest. Like it was a lot of fun. So I think that it's only right that we let it go on to its next phase in life and see what it is. I'll keep it all steel, all glass. So if we ever wanted to run the all steel, all glass class, we can. Uh, it's got factory firewall, front strut tower is going to stay the same. It's got a power glide in there already. Uh, I'm going to do a nine inch. I already got a drive shaft made for it. It's like I got all this stuff that the truck's pretty complete. I already got wheels and tires for it. Uh, the guys at Strange, you know, they'll take care of me with a nine inch stuff. We'll get that on there. So it'll have a real nice beefy 40 spline nine inch aluminum third member. Strange brakes in the back. I mean, it'd be a nice setup. Shocks, what I would plan on doing is because I want to run slicks and run radials, I know it's a lot of changing around, but what you can do is like run an eight or nine inch travel shock and then set it up. So at ride height, like on a radial car, like a strict radial car, the salted chicken, if it's got a nine inch travel shock, it'll be sitting there with about one inch of down travel. So eight inches of that shaft are, are shoved up in the shock. So when you separate, you got like eight inches, like eight usable inches of extension. Well, we'll get like an eight inch travel shock on this. You don't need eight, eight inches of extension on this truck. I can guarantee it, but we can set it up with like three inches of down travel and then we'd have five inches of up travel. So five inches is pretty good. I mean, that's uh, the black sheep separates at like six and a half. So five inches would be damn close to that. So on radials, it would separate good. You mess with the bar angle and on a slick, you got three inches of down travel. So uh, that's what I've been talking with Bob. I think we can do it. Um, I went up to TCAM yesterday. They're actually about to release their new website, which is absolutely badass. You guys will be able to purchase camshaft, cam kits, uh, apparel, TCAM manufactured parts. You'll be able to go on there and look at their engine packages. I was up there talking with Kevin and I was like, man, you know, I'm building this truck. I'm gonna need to get a motor for it. What do I do? I got a couple motors up there that are already put together. I got the, the 460 inch motor, which I feel like is gonna be a, a little bit much for this because it, you know, it's LSX block. And one thing I wanna do is I wanna be able to run stock block shootouts because I feel like this truck could be a pretty competitive stock block shootout car. So Kevin said, listen, you got that world record 5.3 five, block. Why don't we put it in there? And I said, damn, Kevin, I would, but I need a set of cathedral port heads. So my other block that I got, I was going to run these heads on it. These are Frankenstein. They are F110S. They are a very badass cylinder head. I got it set up, solid roller, big springs on it, TKM top fuel hoops. Uh, is, these heads are, are done up, they're badass. They are cathedral port, so they work. So these were gonna go on my 460 inch cubic inch uh, LSX block. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some flip flopping. I got a set of Dart Pro One heads up there. They're LS7 port. And I'm going to put those on my 460 inch block. And then I will put that in the salted chicken. So the salted chicken will be solid roller, 460 cubic inch LSX uh, with a badass rotating assembly. Uh, fully skirted Wisco pistons, um, MGP aluminum rods, got a badass Cali's cranking it. And then this one will be my stock block. So it will be a 5.3. Frankenstein headed, Wisco solid skirted piston, MGP aluminum rod, Cali's crank. Inside a stock block, solid roller, TND rocker arms. I mean, it's, it's, it's a bad, it's gonna be a bad son of a gun. So I'm gonna stick that motor in here so we'll have a stock block motor that can make some good power, can spool the 106 millimeter turbo, because it's got really good compression. We're running on methanol and everyone's happy. So unfortunately, unless this truck really, really, really gets down and really flies and we really start pushing it, we really get it dialed in, we we're going for that stock block record. I think the stock block record right now is like a four, 29 so slightly uh, just a hair slower than what we did with the hydraulic roller the black sheep and um, 
I want to say a Colorado is probably not the best fit for that. But I know I really wanted to go out there and I really wanted to chase that record. I really, really wanted to have fun and like show the journey of going after it and getting faster. But I want to go racing. I want to go racing this year. I want to go racing now. I don't want to wait on stuff. Uh, I feel like that's the best solution to this. Run the Colorado and stock block races. Go out there, have some fun. Run some no preps with it. Have a really nice TCAM power plant in there. Have a really nice chassis done by Bob at Coker. And then um, Matt will, Matt's going to wire it up so you know it's going to be great. I'll switch over to Holly Dominator. I'll put the shock travel sensors on there. I'll put all the data so we can talk about that. And you guys can understand and learn what we got going on with configuration to the car. And I got this badass 106 millimeter turbo. Oh, God. This thing is a unit. I got this thing from my boy Jason Harris. So we're going to stick this on the Colorado in place of the Turbonetics just because this one is a little bit more race oriented, a little bit better condition. And I know what you guys are saying, damn John, I wanted to see you spool up that 106 millimeter turbo with that stock 4.8. Well, don't worry. Luckily, my boy Phil is gonna take that weight on his shoulders and run with it. So we're gonna stick this 4.8 and we're gonna stick that turbo in Phil's G35. I think it is G, it is G, it's Infinity G. I think is what it is. He just built a turbo kit for it, so we're going to stick that stuff on there, and you guys are going to be able to watch him spool it up. So that's the game plan. I'm throwing in the towel with, like, 90 million builds. We're going to get Eddie Murphy all done up right, so Eddie Murphy can be a nice car. Uh, right now it's got a stock block. We'll probably take the motor out of Squid Building and put it in there, so it'll have, like, a 383 cubic inch forged rotating assembly TKM power plant. Still stock block, stock heads. Very good running car. It's going to get the new Huron Speed uh, T6 single Fox body kit, so it, it's going to be a really nice setup. We'll have this thing set up where it's nice and... And then I feel like it, this is way easier than... Oh, come here, Phil. I was just telling them about uh, you taking the weight on your shoulders and Literally. and you're going, here, tell the people how you feel about it. I called you yesterday and I told you something, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Pick it up. Just pick, it's a unit. It's just as big as that one. Yeah, it's the same. It's actually, it's, it's a 106. That's a, that's a little bit lighter. Yeah. Is that a tight pressure sensor? Yeah, I mean, that we're thing well, is... We're welding that up. That thing is... That thing's good, dude. So what are you gonna what are you doing for the people? Tell the people what you're doing for them. So for science. For science, John is gonna loan me a uh aftermarket case power glide so I don't burn my good one out. <laughs> I do have an extra one. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna take this 48 and this 106 and we're gonna put it in the G35 and we're gonna try to spool it. And it was honestly it was meant to be because his setup that he's building right now, if you guys can go over to his channel and check it out. Did you up upload the turbo kit video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He already has a nitrous plate on his car. Yeah, I do. It's already all set up. Yeah. So no questions asked. Phil's so you're ready to go. you the nitrous plate off your car? No, I'm going to leave it on there just for spacing science. purposes. More science. Yes, for science. And then, um, but you're going to actually do all the heavy lifting. <laughs> I'm just going to run my 5.3 and spool my 106 with no nitrous. And we're going to go out there and race it. Phil also said that we shouldn't do this. But yeah, I'm strictly against this, but it's not my money. <laughs> <laughs> I think this could be a very good competitive stock block car, no prep car, and at certain tracks that are limited by how fast you can go because of track prep or real estate. Oh, you're saying that we're going to the hunt of this thing. This thing could be... At Kinston. No, no, we were going to go... I was going to run it, you know, at Kinston. I was going to run it at Red Springs, uh, 710. Go out there and at Tassin Tune. No more Kinston jokes. Kinston. Kinston, we apologize in advance. Listen, if we ever said anything before, it was a joke, yes. which means don't take it serious. Yes. Uh, but yeah, that's that's all we got going on. That's the plan. So I think that what we're going to do today is I got to run around and do a bunch of stuff for the storm stuff. But when I get done with that, I'm going to put these Frankenstein heads. And the reason why I brought these Frankenstein heads here is they got a little, I don't know if the intake and exhaust are in the exact location of a factory head. They kind of got a little stand on it. They either have a stand on them for where they or change the location or they just milled around the head. But I want to put the heads on there and then do the turbo kit with these heads on there. So I make sure it fits 100%. I'd hate to do the turbo kit with a set of stock heads and then put the Frankenstein headed motor in there and the turbo kit not line up. You have to redo it. So I'm trying to get it done right. So I'm gonna take my LSR block that we destroyed, bolt these heads to it, set it in there for mock up, build the turbo kit to the intake and the exhaust, make sure everything lines up good. And then I am going to take these heads back up T-Cam. They're gonna put them on the motor, stick the camshaft in there. I'm gonna get a complete turnkey package from T-Cam, which you guys can get just like yourself. Tell them what we're doing about the whole 
stock block deal. Yeah, we're gonna do stock block racing. We're gonna do no prep racing. We're gonna do small tire shootouts. We might do the Kinson 252 list. Um, Jonathan Hendrick, you're safe, bud. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I said, I don't think this is a good candidate to go like low 420s, no, this, but. This, the cab the cab will fall off. I said, if anything happens funny and it starts rolling real good, you might put you back on notice, but for now you're safe. <laughs> imagine, I said, just imagine this thing, like this truck was built to barely go 75. Barely. I mean, it's I seen be... I seen the stock one rolling around the other day, and I was like, uh huh, race truck. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the plan. That's what we got going on. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know. I titled this video. Mm -hmm. I'm done with it. Throwing in the towel because we got. I said I'm just spread too thin. We got too much stuff going on here and there. Yeah. Motors here and there. Everybody so, says somebody somebody comment on another video like we got 85 projects going. Well, on. instead of having all these projects, we can delete one, take all the good parts from that project, and put it on two other ones that are like more complete. And we should be a little better off. If anybody so. wants to buy the box too, it's for sale. Oh yeah, the box is for sale. Hit me up. Like 800 bucks, you could have that thing. It's on 24s. New. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's got new tires. Yeah, new tires. Brand new tires. Make it a thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. Brand new tires. It's got like stereo speakers, Lamborghini doors. Just gotta bring your own steering wheel. Yeah, bring your own steering wheel and bring a trailer. We'll push that thing right up. A thousand dollars. Hit me up. Get the box. Twenty fours. Got Lambo doors, cause you know that's worth like 700 miles by itself. It's got custom molding. It's got Kool Aid holders in the door. I mean, it's got it's it's the shit, really. But yeah, we're um, we're trimming the fat around here, and oh, also on a very very important notice or note, Donnie from Streetcar Fab is saving the day. T6 flange comes in today, and it's got the dual three inch. I went and bought some more material. Uh, Phil and I, Phil wanted to kill me. I thought it uh, would have been easier than it was, and I was wrong. So big shout out to Donnie at Streetcar Fab. He's hooking us up with the correct flange that we need because he told me I needed it from the get go, and I was like, no, I don't need it, and I'm stubborn. And this is what I get. So everyone go down, description below, check out Streetcar Fabrication. Are you really going to put it in there? Because you always say that you're going to put it in there and you never put it in there. I'm going to put it in there. Streetcar Fabrication will be in the description below. Check it out. Uh, thank you guys to everyone that watches and supports. Don't worry. My, my goal this year, my goal for 2021 is to race as much as possible. My goal for 2020 was just like, oh, build some badass shit. And if we go racing, we go racing. My goal for 2021 is to go racing as much as possible, every form. Small tire racing, drag radio racing, we'll run lights out, we'll run no mercy, we'll run uh, no preps, we'll run the Friday night small tire shootouts at some of these little tracks, we'll run the 252 list, like we're gonna... It might even catch us on the street. Might even catch us on the street, John no street race, but we'll, they'll put me in something now street racing, because I don't care. Because Phil, Phil's already got arrested a couple times, he's got yeah. those charges. Yeah. Not for street racing, I get arrested after street racing. Yeah, last time Phil got arrested, he was So as long as y'all take the car after we're done street racing, everybody's fine, except for me. You know? Phil got chased by the cops and wrecked. What a loser. <laughs> what a loser. <laughs>